equals the sine of 7x squared from 0 to the square root of pi over 7, which is about 0.67. And it looks like the shell method is the way to go here. Because if we tried to use the washer method, we'd have to solve this equation for x and use two different values for x at the right, x at the left. So we'll eliminate the washer method and go to the shell method. So the height of the shell for any x value between 0 and the square root of pi over 7 is the sine of 7x squared. Uh, for the shell method, we're going to take 2 pi times the definite integral from 0 to the square root of pi over 7. The height of a shell is seven, sine of 7x squared. And the average radius is the length of this green segment right here, which is x minus 0, right minus left. In other words, for each x along in here, the distance from the axis of revolution to that x value is just x. And of course, we use dx to represent the width of a typical shell. So there's the definite integral that you have to evaluate. And the way that we're going to evaluate this definite integral is to use u substitution. Looks, if I, looks like if I let u equal 7x squared, du will equal 14x dx. So you can picture putting a 14 here. So that this will equal du, and that means you have to put a 1 14th out front. And when x equals 0, which is this lower bound, <coughs> u will equal 0, putting u in for this x, and u equals 7x squared. When x equals the square root of pi over 7, then u will equal 5. So that here is the u substitution completed right here. And now we need to find an antiderivative for the sine of u, which is the negative cosine of u. And then evaluate from 0 to pi. So that turns out to have a value of 2. And that's because we're doing negative cosine of pi. minus the negative cosine of 0. Cosine of pi is negative 1. The opposite of negative 1 is 1. The cosine of 0 is 1. We have the opposite of 1 is negative 1. The opposite of negative 1 is positive 1. So that's where the 2 comes from. And now if I multiply by this pi over 7 out front, I do get the same value. So there's your exact answer right there. 2 pi over 7 cubic units. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.